Am I the a-hole for telling my autistic brother the truth when he asked me why women don't like him? I've got a younger brother, 24, with Asperger's and he's very high functioning albeit with his quirks. Recently I've moved back home during the stay at home orders to look after my parents. My brother still lives with them. I find out he's been trying to date in recent months and confessed it's been pretty unsuccessful for him. He even got to go on a first date, but his date literally got up and left after about a half hour. I know exactly the reason why and it's not flattering. For one thing my parents coddled him since he was a kid because he was on the spectrum and was the only boy in our family. My mom in particular always told him he was smarter and more advanced than everyone else who's neurotypical. This has led to his belief today that he genuinely is smarter than everyone else, especially women who he thinks are inherently irrational illogical people. So I know how he interacts with women like me or his other sisters. He tends to say very hurtful things first and when we get upset, he will then say things like you are being irrational slash hysterical slash illogical, I'm just being honest and you can't accept it. This is like his catchphrase over the years and drives us absolutely insane. Anyways when he asked me I basically said, listen the truth is your way of talking to women can come across as extremely demeaning and borderline sexist. I told him he acts like he can read every woman perfectly when he's pretty much always wrong. This struck the wrong nerve with him and he later complained to my parents that I attacked him over things he can't control. Now I'm in hot water for ruining his confidence and I feel both bad and kinda relieved at the same time. This was the first time in my life I told him how annoying his behavior is because growing up our mom always blamed us whenever he got upset. But maybe I was too harsh. A to for telling him what I said? Am I the a-hole for telling my mom to not have any more kids? Not the a-hole I, 16 F, live with my parents and 11 siblings. I'm the fourth kid, and the ages range from 20 to 1. We live in a 4 bedroom house, but it is so cramped with everyone in bunks and no privacy. My parents also put most of the responsibility of the younger kids on us, while they lay down and watch TV. True, they can have their breaks, but they take them so often, that I don't really get to be a teenager. Last night, after my mom told me to, but J plus A, 3, to bed, I told her to do it herself as I need to study. She said that it is my responsibility as an older child. I lost my temper and told her that she can't take care of her 12 kids as it is and that she should give up her dream of 15 children because she's depriving the younger ones of a better life. Ata, TL, Doctor my mom has 12 kids and wants 15 and I lost my temper and said that she shouldn't have any more because she can't take care of all of them as it is. Am I the a-hole for letting my nephew to call me mom? A while back, my brother married a woman who had an 11 year old son named Billy. A year later my sil gave birth to a little girl. Two years later, she gave birth to a boy. Billy, who was 14 by this time, was treated like an outsider. My sil and brother saw him as a burden who spoiled their picture perfect family. If you ask my sil how many kids she had, she would say two. Billy started acting out. He got involved with a bad group of kids and started getting into trouble. He started failing all of his classes. He eventually got into drugs and was suspended from school. My brother and Sil were fed up with him. I asked my brother if Billy could spend the summer with me and my husband. We have a hobby farm and I thought maybe getting away from his life for a while could help him some. Well, they were more than happy to get rid of him, my Sil's words. It was kind of rough the first few weeks. He had a lot of anger issues. But my husband kept his hands and mind busy doing work on the farm. And we both made sure that he knew he was loved and wanted. By August, he was a totally different kid. He wanted to keep living with us, but my sil insisted that he come home. After two months, he went back to his old ways due to his parents' indifference. They ended up sending him back to us, and he lived with us throughout high school. He ended up being in a slash B student and kept with a really great group of kids. He got involved in baseball and got a scholarship to a local university. He's 22 now and is in his last year of school. He's engaged to a really great girl. When he was 16 he started calling me mom and he started calling my husband pops. He never really had much to do with his mom 
and he had nothing to do with my brother. He saw them on holidays when the whole family came over. His mom has tried to have a relationship with him the past few years, but he has avoided her. On Christmas, Syl was over, and for whatever reason, she opened my desk drawer and found a birthday card from Billy, where he said to the best mom ever, thanks for loving me and giving me a chance. She was devastated. She ended up texting Billy, confronted him and asked him if she would be presented as mother of the groom at his wedding. He told her that he no longer considered her his mom and wasn't even sure if he wanted her at the wedding at all. My Sil is now insisting that I make it clear to Billy that I'm not his mother and that he is not to refer to me as such. My brother is also very upset with me. Even my parents are pressuring me to do what Sil wants for the sake of peace. Honestly, I consider Billy to be my son. I count him in with all of my children. I feel like telling Billy not to present me as mother of the groom could possibly be misinterpreted as me saying that I don't feel like he's my son and I don't even want to take a chance of that happening. If he decides to present his real mom as mother of the groom, I will 110% support him. So A to 4 not respecting my sills wishes? For not inviting family members to my wedding. This goes back 3 years when my mom and her girlfriend got engaged. My mom put in so much time and energy into organizing this wedding and was so excited. She sent out invites to all our family members 4 months in advance and almost everyone confirmed they would be going. Barely a week before the wedding, she received several messages from aunts and uncles who said they won't be going because they had other commitments despite confirming they'd be there months prior. One of my aunts, my grandma's sister, confronted my mom and said many weren't going because they still didn't agree with the fact that she was marrying a woman, including herself because it went against her Christian views. Meanwhile my hardcore Christian grandma was more than happy to walk my mom down the aisle. This upset my mom, but she tried not to let it ruin her wedding. I however, was furious. Only my grandma, my mom's sister, a few cousins, and another aunt attended the wedding, while my stepmom's entire family came. What really pissed me off was that two weeks later, my cousin who lives in a totally different state celebrated her sweet 16 and everyone who made excuses about not going to my mom's wedding made the journey all the way over there and posted pictures all over Facebook. It really broke my mom's heart and just felt like salt in the wound. I swore then that when I got married, everyone who did not show up to my mom's wedding would not be invited to mine. Fast forward to now, me and my girlfriend of 2 years got married first week of March, and I kept my word. The only ones we invited to our wedding was the family that did go to my mom's, and one other aunt who did have a good reason for not being there at the time, because she was recovering from surgery. We even invited my stepmom's family too. Obviously my other family members found out and expressed their hurt over not being invited. I called them all out and said if they had a problem with my mom for being who she is, then they had a problem with me and I wouldn't let toxic people be a part of a special day for me and my wife. My wife stood behind my decision, as did my mom. That still doesn't seem to stop them from thinking it was a dick move and are turning it into a whole family drama because they think it was unfair to punish them for simply believing in something different. So, am I the a-hole here? Am I the a-hole? My parents took most of my wardrobe away as punishment, and I said I didn't want the clothes back, because it's obvious they are not actually mine. I got in trouble at school this fall, I'm a junior in high school. Edit to add what I got in trouble for, since a couple people asked. I smoked weed with a guy in the woods after school once and got caught. I also made out with him a couple times and my parents found out about that too. As punishment my parents took away a lot of my things, all my clothes, except 3 pairs of plain jeans and 3 plain black shirts in my coat, and all my macup and hair stuff, purses and shoes, saying I had to earn things back with good behavior, I don't get to engage in my hobby, fashion, to live and it. Anyway it was a shitty couple months, but I came to a couple realizations. It was actually kind of nice, to not have to think about what to wear, and how I look. My friends knew what my parents had done and didn't judge me. I also told anyone who asked why I looked like I only had one outfit what was up and it was no big deal. 
I know it was supposed to be a demeaning humiliating punishment to make me look bad at school, but honestly it just makes them look bad when people at school know I'm only allowed to wear one thing. I don't want to have things that are just something someone else can hold over my head. I don't want the old clothes and macute back. If I'm gonna get back into that stuff I'll do it on my own terms. I'll buy my own stuff. So I told my parents that I don't care if they keep the clothes and macup. They've made it clear that stuff doesn't belong to me. And it's gross to me to spend every day wearing clothes that aren't mine. That can be given and taken as punishment. I'd feel gross and I'd rather not wear them again. So now my parents are mad because they've got a lot of clothes boxed up in the attic that the family spent money on and that are going to waste. Nobody else can wear them. My mom isn't my size and my only sibling is my little brother. I said I don't care. I want clothes that are my own and those aren't it. A to 4 not taking the clothes back and letting them go to waste. A to 4 telling my girlfriend to shut the fuck up after she insulted my sister's thighs. I'm 30 and my 12 year old sister is living with me right now because mom and pops are vulnerable so it made more sense for me to care for my C's for the time being. She is a really great kid and tbh I feel in a lot of ways like she's my own kid because my mom and dad don't speak English so I kind of had to raise my C's in ways that they couldn't. Hard to explain but I'm sure anyone with a secondary culture will get what I mean my mom and dad are great parents but having an English speaking person to guide you through shit when you live in an English speaking country is invaluable a moment my sister trusts me with stuff she won't necessarily trust my parents with. Anyway my girlfriend was facetiming me and my sister walked past in shorts and a t-shirt cause it's hot. My sister gf waited till my sister had left the area but not the room and made a face and said back quote maybe feed her less op, her thighs are kinda chunky. I saw Ed and told her to shut the fuck up, just came out my mouth and immediately ended the call. My sister is a bit chubby but ffs who says stuff like that about a 12 year old girl, literally, everybody. I know has been texting me that I'm a pose boyfriend and that how can I disrespect my gf like that. I'm expecting an apology from her, but to my shock everybody is expecting me to apologize. So A to for charging rent from my dad, but not from my mom. My father and his family lost their home and had no place to live. He has a teenage son, my half brother, who is 15 and a known smoker. Because they had nowhere else to go, I offered them to stay at our other house we usually rent out to other people. The house is situated within our property, just next to our home. Prior to my dad moving in, my mother and my sister moved in with us 6 months ago after my stepdad passed away. We have many spare bedrooms in our home so the moving in wasn't a problem. This is where the conflict arises. I don't charge rent from my mom. I don't let her cook. I cook for 5 people in our home, my husband, my mom, my toddler and my sister. It's just my way of looking out for my mom. Because that's what she did for me when I was young and struggling. She raised me as a single mother for years. My dad has a problem with this because I'm charging him and his wife the same rent I charge other tenants. It's a well furnished house. He thinks I'm playing favorites between parents because I don't charge my mom any money. He thinks he should pay less rent as compared to other tenants because I'm his daughter. Apparently, he doesn't like to be reminded of the fact that he charged me rent the one time when I was very sick and had to move in with him and his wife when I was in college. I had a part-time job and struggled to pay my bills with my illness. I wasn't shown any consideration. He also has a problem because my husband doesn't help him out with his groceries. He is older now, 71 and thinks we should be the one getting him his groceries. We don't think so, his wife is 50 and he has a young son. They can be the ones doing the grocery shopping if he's too fragile to move around. Ata? Ata for embarrassing a girl trying to steal from me. I made this account because I'm tired of the passive aggressive bull this girl keeps throwing at me, so I want to see if I'm the ass or her. Firstly, I'm a guy. 26, who tries to have the healthiest lifestyle I can. I also make a good amount of money and can buy the natural lotions and skincare slash bath care products I can get. 
these aren't cheap, and when I do get them, I make sure I use them smartly, and make them last. My roommate and I get along great, she doesn't touch my things in the bathroom and I don't touch hers. She has her own shelf, I have mine. She does have a friend who comes over sometimes who is a self-proclaimed beauty guru who does reviews online to her 500 followers. But doesn't have a job and borrows products from her friends. A few months ago she came over, and I had just gone to my room to get dressed, products left on the tub bench, and I hear her in the bathroom practically squealing girl you got the good stuff. Let me use it, my followers will love it. I hear my roommate say no, that it's not hers and the friend just says quietly that she'll use it when I go to work. After I get out of my room to head to work I immediately get my products put them in my room and listen to her start to do her show in our living room, stating what products she's about to get to which I say loudly, no you're not, I bought them, if you want them then get a job and buy them. I then locked them in my room, and since then she's told me how she lost followers, got mocked for trying to steal, and was sobbing in her live stream. Ata or is she upset she got caught? Ata for telling a woman who lives in my complex that yes having her husband check me out turns me on. Okay, hear me out. I live in a complex that is built in a circle so it's like a track. A lot of people use it to run, walk, etc. I've always used it to run slash walk as well. I live in Florida, so I usually wear leggings and a sports bra or a tank top. I literally only wear it because it's insanely hot here. This woman always gave me dirty looks when I'd walk by her apartment, she'd be sitting on her porch. There are a few maintenance guys, not sure if that is the correct title for them, but that is what everyone calls them, that walk and ride around on golf carts throughout the day. I soon realized that the dirty look woman is married to one of the maintenance workers. I'm always polite to them, but have never talked to them by any means. So, yesterday I was working out on the tennis court, which is near their apartment. Her and her husband were sitting on the porch. She is giving me the dirtiest looks and is making me pretty uncomfortable, but I try to ignore it. Before I leave she says, do you like get off on having the maintenance men check you out all day? To which I replied, actually yes it makes me super wet. They are what keeps my sex drive high. She looked shocked and her husband started laughing and then she smacked him on the arm. I came back and told my mom this story and she said I should be more sensitive and obviously the woman is insecure. Now I kinda feel bad. Ata? Am I the a-hole for reminding my husband's female friend that my husband is my husband and not hers? My husband Jake and I have been together for 6 years and he has been friends with Carly for 2 years longer than that. I suspect that Carly has feelings for Jake but he has never had feelings for her. I've never been thrilled about their friendship but I trust my husband and have total confidence that he would never cheat. A year ago, Carly moved into our neighborhood. She lives alone and she picked up the habit of asking Jake to help her with housework and maintenance. When her water heater broke, she called Jake. When she needed help setting up a TV, she called Jake. When her trees needed trimming, she called Jake. Etc. Etc. You get the idea. Jake and Carly also work near each other downtown, and a few days a week she'll ask him for a ride to work when she doesn't feel like driving. She's also started dropping by our house unannounced, usually when she's having a bad day and wants to vent to Jake about it. She relies on him heavily for emotional support 24 over 7. While I've tried to be patient and respectful of my husband's friendship with her, I have become less and less tolerant of Carly in the past few months as I feel she's become a constant presence in our marriage. The final straw came yesterday. As a medical worker, I've been pulling insanely long hours at the hospital. Yesterday I finally had a day off, and I was very excited to spend some time with Jake. Just after breakfast, he received a text from Carly asking if he can help her move some furniture around because she decided to redecorate. He told her he can't because it's my day off and we are spending the day together. She then calls him and explains that it shouldn't take more than an hour and her living room is a mess and she really could use his help getting things in order. At this point, I snapped. I took the phone and told her that Jake had said no and she needs to respect that he wants to spend time with me, his wife. 
when she started to argue, I said I'm sorry Carly, but I think it's time for you to find your own husband, and hung up. Jake was shocked, and thought that I was far too harsh. He thinks that I should have some compassion, and said how would you feel if you were 35 and alone, and without many friends? I feel sorry for her. At that, I questioned whether or not I was actually in the wrong here. Reddit, Ata.